Okay, so we're down here. Nice, that was okay. an easy connection. So I'm just keep walking towards the med bay. Yeah. Okay. So, so you you, gonna... you head towards the med bay. You walk past. Um, you see the kind of cracks on the wall and the dents in the wall where you drove. Where I the... ran the freaking cart truck into. Yep. And the cart truck is still here, like parked halfway on top of this med bay. Oh, so we gotta like. Um... Crawl oh yeah, you, you over kind of, like, the freaking truck. Back end of the truck. Yeah. Oh. That's... Um. And there's yeah. still the locked door and the, the, the glass panels and like the, the auto dock in the corner and everything is still as it was before. Okay, where um, is Sa Sam Samuel is... and the chick? <clears throat> so the chick the chick is in here um, and um, Sam is, is, is <clears throat> curled, curled up in the corner here. Um, basically just like uh, sat down right, so with his, hold, his forehead against the corner. <laughs> hold, hold back. She doesn't like you. I'm going to go in oh, and... Screw that. I walked in and I yelled at no. Sam over the radio. Get your ass in here. Okay, before you do that, I'm going to And I just dropped toss... the drawer crap on her desk. <laughs> okay, so so Savrik and, and Toad both kind of right. like barge into her office. Um, what have you done, Savrik? I was going to start it off by trying to be all diplomatic, give her the photo, say, was searching for shit, found this, thought you might want it, because, you know, Because you're said. so narcissistic, <laughs> you wanted a photo of yourself. No. Awesome. So, it's her so, and um... someone else, you dumbass. <laughs> So what's happened is is you two have come back, you've, you've crawled over this desk, um, and Samuel's been in the corner, kind of like with his head pressed against the, the metal. Um, still in his space, you can still with his mask down, but, or with his mask sort of, sort of in the way, but he's got like the, the head, the helmet of the base suit, like pressed into the corner. Um, he's obviously had some kind of like mental snap, um, not like the others haven't, but he's, he's had some kind of <laughs> mental snap. In the meantime, um, the door, the the door to the med, the the med office opens, and Savrik and Toad both walk in simultaneously, side by side. Toad just walks over to the door uh, desk and kind of dumps a, 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 sh a box of random bits of food, a wiggling plant, and a, a bag of flesh on the desk. Um, meanwhile, um, Savrik walks towards the woman and then pulls a photograph out of his pocket and, and shows her a photograph of um, her and a young man on an, on like a, a, a park um the young woman kind of like her eyes kind of flicker around and she kind of looks at the photograph and the bag of flesh and the food and the wiggling plant and <laughs> and 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 her eyes kind of like go wide for a second and she starts hyperventilating and about five or six seconds later she passes out awesome <laughs> so <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna blame that one on on <laughs> The, the mental breakdown there. Okay. I'm bringing her food. I told her earlier that if I found anything, I'm bring her food. I'm just done. As I'm, well I'm as doing a, I'm doing what I said I would. And, and if it wasn't for the the flesh, the wiggling plant, and the photograph of her of her ex of her ex husband, um, she might yeah. have reacted slightly better. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say the flesh and the plant might have had something more to do with it than the photo. Let's be honest here. <laughs> You come up to me with a big scan, I'm just going to be a little bit concerned. Well, well maybe well, not me. I think that, like, this woman is, is kind of like, to a certain extent, acknowledged that she's going to die here. And you just come in holding a photograph of a loved one. That's like going to, like, <laughs> yeah. that's like going to someone on, like, I don't know, someone in a war-torn country who's trapped behind enemy lines or, or in a POW camp and just, like, giving them a photograph of their kids. It's like, that, that's fucking... <laughs> Dark, man. You are an asshat. Whereas I'm like, okay, you're a medical person. Oh, you damn. can examine this shit for me. And, you know, food. Here's a peace offering. You're like, remember the people you're leaving behind. You will die here. You will be consumed by the space zombies. You well, freaking ass you know. wipe whole didgeridoo. You, you want to know the beautiful thing, Blaster Toad? What? You you seem to make this assumption that she's a medical person. The ID she's badge in the med bay. Her. That's all I know. No, you got an ID badge from her. The ID badge from her gave you access to all the hydroponic systems. Not yeah, but I gave systems. that to Sam. I'm just like I have a med bay. I've got a badge now. I handed it to Sam and let him do computer shit. <laughs> okay, at that point, remember she's just threw the badge at me, and I'm like, I'm gonna walk over to Sam and I'm gonna give this to him and see what he can do with it. I didn't bother giving a damn. Okay. Okay. So, if, as far as I know, she's the chick in the medical room. She's the medic. <laughs> that is not very good inference or 
Well, I can't understand. understand. She is locked in the. In the lock, I just in the drove a truck room. through a door after being <laughs> marooned on a space station with freaking space zombies. She's in the med bay. She's the medic. I have a okay. small glimmer of hope. Like, just piss off. Or did she? Oh, how did I not notice that she had? You you told me too. She had a badge for the thing, but I didn't listen because I gave it to yes. Sam. Oh, exactly. That's what I was saying. <laughs> okay. Oh, the mental breakdown. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He's gonna cry. Oh. <laughs> you say that like you're happy about it, you dick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. <laughs> this has just been such Holy a shit show. Shit. Oh, so, damn let me, it. Let me just clarify the situation you're in. You now have an unconscious woman lying on the floor. You have a bag of flesh that is still moving, a wiggly plant, <clears throat> um, several <laughs> packets of freeze-dried food, or sort of squidgy kind of like gelatine food. Um, you have Samuel in the corner of the medical office with his mask open, who's just staring at both of you like you're, you're these things from the black fucking lagoon. Um, and you, you have Savrot you have Savrot there standing there holding a photograph like like he's got a fucking prize from a fucking um <laughs> Look what I got, Mama! Ribbon. I got the blue ribbon! Woo! <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Son of a bitch. He went all like I've got two extra chromosomes on her there. <laughs> Oh, but you know what? You know what? I am naming that would be Frant, and you can't do shit to it. I'm naming it Groot, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna but, dissect okay. the shit out of your Groot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you slut. So, Alright, what would you guys um, like to do? I'd like to. I'd like to wake her ass up. What are you gonna do? Just inject her with stimulants after she hyperventilated herself to like passing out? <laughs> I have like what the I hell have, do you want to do? Just I give the woman training. a break. Let her sit there and like wake up. <clears throat> okay, so no. so um so Toad, what are you going to do? I'm gonna write the wiggly plant first off, so it's not like spilling soil all over the place. Because I'm not a freaking savage. Okay, so, okay, so um, is this like a low table or is this like a cabinet? Uh, that's a low table. Okay, that's a table. so I, I take my wiggly plant and my flesh over there. What? And just place them on the dog. table to deal with later. Okay, and so, then, so you have um, a plant on the table. <laughs> I tried to have a conversation with Sam, asking oh, yeah. if there's anything that could help us analyze microbial matter or particulate organisms inside of larger organisms. Like, we're in a med okay, bay, there's so... got to be something that we can, like, look at tiny shit. So, so Blastoad walks up to Sam and and says that like he wants to examine particulate um, and, and he wants to examine microbes. Um, Sam looks at the bag of flesh and looks at the plant. And he goes, yes, 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 yes. Examine and catalog. Examine and catalog. That's what we do. We examine and catalog. Examine and catalog. catalog. I'm bringing order to his life. I'm a good person. <laughs> he, he, he take he takes you by the hand. And he leads you out um, into the med bay, and, and like he leads you around, and he leads you around to the corner where he was standing when you came in, um, and and, um, and and he points to the corner. And he goes and he goes. This 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 is corner. We we know corner. Corner is good. Yes, corner is safe. Corner corner is good. Nothing can get us in the corner. Corner is good. Self in the corner. Self in the corner. Corner is good. Sam Sam in in, in the seat. <laughs> the corner is good. Corner is good. I'll be I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I start looking for some sedatives. Uh, Sam God. returns to his corner and presses his face into the corner of the room. <laughs> you, you broke him so horribly. I didn't do it's dick to Sam. You killed the puppies and then you threw Aaron into the You cut the off room. people's hands! <laughs> repetitively! He didn't see me do it! He didn't see me do it! <laughs> if you do it in the shadows, nobody knows it's done. <laughs> So that's how you get away from masturbating in public. <laughs> oh man, come on! Why you gotta tell people these things? Just because it's true, don't mean it's right. So what are you doing, Tavrik? You're trying to wake her up. Yeah, um, I'm. Just, I'm just gonna. Oh, I'll do man. whatever I have to to wake her up. I'll intimidate roll, her roll. awake if I have to. Are you roll three, Tinjury. Yeah. I'm angry. 
<laughs> oh, shit. You I rolled a one. One, but my treat injury skill is 14, so... Okay, so you're not going to do her any harm, but um, but you're not going to be able to wake her up, unfortunately. Um, she she yeah. is currently in a state of um, uh, hyperoxygenized shock, um, and uh, she she's curled up on the floor. She's still... Her breathing's returned to normal, and she's not... Uh, as far as you can tell, in any significant danger, but um, the only thing you can think of to wake her up would be to um, inject her with adrenaline. And considering she's in hyperoxygenated shock, that has a, a decent chance of giving her a heart attack. Yeah, that's like a ninety-five percent um, chance of giving her a heart attack. Yeah, yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, in in the meantime, sort of Toad goes wandering around. He finds some basic um, uh, microscope, uh, sort of like computerized microscope equi equipment. He finds some. Um, element determining equipment, some um, laser spectrographs and, and things sort of dotted about. Um, the Autodoc has a, a reasonably decent um, bacteriological detection uh, array, which allows you to determine bacteriological infections by looking at them through a, a magnifying system. Um, so so there's, there's, there's a few Did pieces. Did I find any sedative? Like I found everything but what I was looking for. Uh, you find some medical kits that contain um, vials of um, different chemicals and um, things like um, etosanazole and um, predazole and, and ketamine uh, and things like this but um you Yo, are a drug uh, addict what do those mean um nothing's this <laughs> actual sedative they're mainly used to just basically pump up a whole bunch of other shit but nothing you want um with savrock's help if savrock deemed to help um, if you kind of explained him why you wanted sedatives he might help you savrock could pr probably quite easily find a reasonably strong sedative okay. um in the middle you gonna let me in so just as i'm wandering in, around i right? radio savrock this shit's okay, messed no. up sam's <laughs> broke sam's 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 really broke uh, okay. this, this is something to calm him down Alright, roll a spot or, or uh, no, spend a can. You, you, we're in a med bay. There's sedative somewhere. Yeah. I just don't know what to look for. True. You're 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 in a med bay and you're reasonably sort of well trained medic. I mean, you go over to uh, a couple of the drug containers. Uh, you know that most of the sedatives and stimulants are going to be in one of the locked cabinets, but most of the locked cabinets are open at the moment. So you go over to one of the cabinets that has a lock on it. You start flicking through some of the medication bottles. Um, you find a couple of different sedatives. You find a couple of uh, sort of like long term relaxants. You find a couple of intense sedatives. You even find a couple of general anaesthetics um, mixed in with things. Um, so you've you've got some reasonably strong things. You also find a, a very powerful anti-anxiety <clears throat> medication that tends to be used on people who get uh, space fever which is a, a kind of mental break when you're in space and um, it's a very strong long-term anti-anxiety um, and anti-psychosis um, uh, 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 drug uh, designed for people who basically get the, uh, the space equivalent of cabin fever. Okay. Uh, are they all injectables or pills or what do we got? That was uh, yeah, the next question. Any of them um, gaseous? Uh, most of them are injectables. You have a couple of gaseous ones. The main ones that are gaseous are the general anaesthetics. Um, the space fever treatment is a uh, injectable. You've got a couple of sort of like mild anaesthetic and mild anti-anxiety pills. Um, primarily the, um, the... Are there any ports on our suits for sharing oxygen? Uh, you can uh, connect your kind of like um, backpack uh, uh, units together, yes. Okay, I am going to borrow some of that gaseous sedative. Yeah, I'm going to take a bunch of the other injectables for whatever okay. may need, be needed. So you know, I, of those. I give, um, sitting next to Sam, holding his shoulder, just sitting with him. With my free hand, I slowly start hooking up the general anesthetic and just give him a very, very small dose. So, um, so sort of Sam's sitting in the corner, kind of silently, sort of like he's standing up, he's kind of rocking on his feet, um, and, and just tapping his tapping his forehead against the corner of the the, the med bay, um, or tapping the front of his helmet against the corner of the med bay. Um, you connect up into the the, the oxygen 
rig on the back of his, his suit. And um, although he's got his face mask open, of course, the oxygen comes up from the suit mm. or the, the flow of air comes up from the suit. So, so the, his suit sort of brings uh, the, the chemical up to his mouth and he, he, he breathes it in. After a couple of minutes, he just kind of like slumps down onto his side and, and his eyes are glazed over. He's not asleep and he's mm. not unconscious, but he, he he's basically... Um, Basically, he's high. Essentially, yeah. you, you've essentially um, drugged him into a state of mild catatonia. <laughs> okay, uh, I disconnect that unit, and then uh, what kind of consumable was the cabin fever drugs? Uh, they Both were a... Uh, uh, no, injectable. cabin fever drug isn't injectable. Yeah, which, okay, which I got I'd that, like so I'll make my way over. Jab him in the face with that. Don't, don't jab, no... I well, will, you I do it. Do... The only open flesh I can see is his face through his helmet. So you do a thing. I'll I'm gonna walk do away. The... I assume there is going to be some sort of injector for like a space spot on his suit for cases such as this. So you don't have to actually unsuit the person. Uh, if you use a crisis injection device, uh, you'll be able to basically jam it through the yeah. But uh, then you just the punctured his suit. Section. Uh, the fabric section of the thigh of his suit. Um, most of the emergency sort of crisis devices also come with a, a suit sealant gel, like you have in your emergency suit repair kits. Um, I will... it, it won't be perfect, but his suit will be sealed, and you can basically just jam him in the leg with it. I will do that so I can cause the least amount of actual damage to him as possible. Okay. By not so, stab so... stabbing him in the face. Well, physical damage anyway. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> any of these tables have linens on them? Uh, yes, one of the, uh, both of the non-auto dock tables have have linens. I on. grab the blanket. And I kind of pull this chick out into a more comfortable position and throw a blanket over her for now. Okay, so so you've basically kind of resorted to like basic medical care to try and try and get yourself some normality back. So you've treated one of them with anti um, cabin fever medication to try and uh, deal with minor psychosis and high anxiety, and. Um, the, the woman who hyperventilated you've you've basically made a little bed for her on the floor where she where she fell um and and um you have a wiggling plant and a bag of flesh sitting on one table and um, packets of uh, jelly food sitting on another okay so sitting beside this chick i hold the hose up take a brief dose from the general anesthetic and sleep just <laughs> All right, he's just rage quit. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a... All right, he just full on rage quit. Okay. Damn it. I need a bit of a rest. This has been a long freaking day. Just blast myself in the face with anesthesia shit and sleep oh beside the comatose woman. All right. All right, so while he does done. that. He's. I'm. I'm gonna take the bag of flesh and go actually examine it on the, under the microscope. The... Oh, the dick bag move. You're taking my science shit away, and you didn't even cover me with a blanket. Yeah, you didn't say anything. You just like I quit. I'm just gonna go knock myself out. <laughs> The really funny thing is, like, Toad's complaining about the fact he's not in a blanket. He's in an armored spacesuit. He's gonna have like, yeah. a major cramp. Yeah, but you know, like, it's it's a thought that counts, and I'm not thinking about it that way. So um, <laughs> I'm not thinking about it at all. <laughs> you just um, shut so... down, and I have to work now. Your guy's so broken, he can't even like human. He's just like, I have to work. Keep my mind off it. I work. I, carry, I cut off people's I hands. I work. I doll. <laughs> oh. oh, Christ. So, what so, the uh, hell have you done, Droid, with this thing <laughs> that you have imagined? And... Oh. oh, my God. Done nothing. Nothing. It, it's all you. It's all you. Let's be honest. It is all you. I have done one thing. I cut off a- no, I did two things. I cut off a guy's hands, and then I used another guy's meat shield. <laughs> as soon as a woman started to move, you tried to shoot her in the face. <laughs> that was what no, I to hate in this all. It's like, oh no, she grabbed somebody's ankle, let's shoot her in the face. I never shot anybody in the That's face. That's because your aim sucks, but you intended to. <laughs> no, I didn't. Never mind, just do your thing. <laughs> science my so... shit up, even though I wanted to science it up. So, um, roll a um, treat injury check, because um, this is going to be using medical equipment to, to look at a medical yeah. thing. Um, oh. So, 
so so while blaster toad is having a nice rest um you you get out the bag of flesh and you um throw it onto the auto dock and you you pull up the um the microscope and um it's it's a bag of flesh would you believe um you you kind of focus <laughs> in and focus in and focus in and um it's a combination of skin tissue and muscle tissue and ligaments and um, some little chips of bone um as you get down to kind of like the microbial level, the level you'd be looking at to look at like what kind of infection someone has, um, you see that it's, ha it's certainly infected flesh. Um, there are separate microbes to the tissue. Um, and those separate microbes seem to have made like a, a mesh. Um, they're, they're not touching each other, but they seem to have like connected together with threads, almost like nerve cells, um, but much more substantial and okay. this seems to be kind of like coating and going into and <clears throat> wrapping around cells and and kind of like ribbon through the flesh that uh, you have a bag of remember to take a um, screenshot so you can share it with people later <laughs> <laughs> well it's the only way yeah. i can like come across is like you're at a computer thing showing you this like make sure that you can show people later like take a picture or something so, uh, so i'm gonna leave that all... there um, all in all, you've sorry. all in all, you've been doing this now for like you've you've been on this station now for like um, four or five hours, and you've experienced some pretty high stress. Um, so you're all getting quite kind of like yeah. worn out and, and 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 stressed out and tired. And um, that's why I'm taking a nap. Yep, and and um, I would think probably now would be a good time for for you guys to. Um, Try to try and have a rest as as a, as a group. Um, you're you're certainly feeling fatigued, especially in the low oxygen atmosphere, running around um, in the in the weaker atmosphere that you've caused by um, decompressing sections of the station. Um, you, you're definitely starting to feel the effects of running and fighting and 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 being under stress for so long. Um, so it might be a good idea to to rest and. and yeah, uh, I wanna. I'd rather wait until one of us is awake, because in case. Because she had a bit of a shit fit. I don't want her to, you know, be mentally broken and try to stab somebody in the face. With her. Okay, so oh. so um, with Toad um, anaesthetic, with Toad anaesthetic into oblivion, um, Savrick. Seriously, sort of after back. all this other crap, how the hell is my guy supposed to sleep? <laughs> like so, it, it so was a Toad. last ditch result, or whatever you know, words I'm trying to say. It's just like yeah, I, I'll, I I'll, need to I'll, rest. I'll... This is the only yeah. way. I'm gonna sit in the back far corner then. I'm, I'm gonna dose myself up with the light sedative. Nothing like a full anesthetic blast in the face. <laughs> Nothing that intense. <laughs> so, so basically, Toad, um, there's a psychological principle called the the doors. Um, it, it's it's kind of like used by um, a writer in a fiction book. But the idea is that the first door your mind goes through to protect itself is is sleep. And and basically, what your character has done is he's experienced so much shit today that he's just decided, fuck it, my my brain needs turning off, and and he's just turned himself off with anesthetic. Meanwhile, Savrick takes um, some anti-anxiety and some minor sedative drugs, and and basically um, doses himself enough that he'll notice if something comes in the door um he, he possibly depending on how much of an anti-anxiety medication he's dosed himself with he might not care if something comes through the door um but <laughs> but um but he, he he's reasonably uh, well dosed and and together with the unconscious um samuel that you've left in the corner of the med bay uh, <laughs> just, just left him there <laughs> Just left him in the corner of the med bed, just just, un <laughs> just unconscious. Um, <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> the, Such the, an the, ass. <laughs> the unconscious woman, the the anesthetic um, uh, Jake, and the the drugged up Savrock. You, you all together have a rest. Now, as you rest. Um, nothing massive happens um however the lights on the station do get a little bit dimmer um it, it's not something that's massively noticeable but after a little while of being awake once you wake up you probably figure out the lights on the station are, are, have maybe lost a little bit of the intensity they had before there's a a little bit more shadow a little bit less um brightly lit station now um and and so we pass through into what is essentially day two of um your stay on uh, Obsolife Research Center. Um, so, uh... <laughs> so, 
So that was only one day. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't even like a full day. That was like, oh, we showed up for half days of work and shit. Yeah. <laughs> How are you having so like first day? I was like, "Yay, let's like d twenty this stuff up," and now it's like, "Holy crap, dog people and killing everybody and <laughs> severing hands and screw it, and gas me in the face." So, um, you, you come round and wake up, and, and Savage had a nap and, and things. Um, the the woman that uh, uh, passed out is um, uh, over over in the corner. Um, Sort of slightly behind the uh, crashed um, unit, she has a couple of the packs of um, food gel with her, um, and and they're both ripped open. One of them's a, a kind of like a mixed vegetable kind of gel, and another one's a meat gel. Um, and she's just kind of uh, she's obviously taking bites out of them. Uh, between the two packs of gel, she's got the photograph that Savrick rescued sitting on the desk in front of her, and she's just basically sitting in the corner crying quietly to herself. Um, <laughs> I well, well, grab well, myself a food pack, walk around the corner slowly, slowly, <laughs> just, just kind of look at her for a brief moment and ask if I can join her. She she just, she just kind of like shrugs and just goes back to gnawing okay. on her food. food so I, I, I just lean against the wall and slowly slide my ass onto the floor and tear open the food pack and just start with her just, okay we're um, we're togetherness yes you deal you're, with this together shit you are resorting to the the kind of most primitive form of human interaction um which is just being close enough to another human being that you you have to acknowledge their presence but without invading that person's personal space mm. um and, and you're just both sitting there eating while considering she last time i met her she had just been like violated by a serial <laughs> killer and then i touched her shoulder <clears throat> and stole her id badge and i Damn see her into crap. doing nothing i sorry yeah. i didn't realize how messed up my character was until mm. i like rewatched the video a time and a half i'm mm. like what the hell has this guy done <laughs> And I'm the bad guy, eh? Yes, you still are. You've done a lot of messed up shit. Oh yeah, if you rewatch the video fifty, like you, your character did some seriously messed up fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. Just, just rewatch it. You'll be surprised. As I'm watching it, I'm like, what? <laughs> Holy the, the hell! Like, what the <laughs> hell are we doing? <laughs> shit. Yet. Yeah, right. it, it, it's it's worth the it's it's four hours that you All just right. put on your laptop while you're watching something else, and you'll like notice little things. It's like, wait, what? I did what now? And like we yeah, both gonna... had reasons to do our things, but like they're but... both really freaking messed up. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna nod, wave at you, that you know that I'm just gonna kind of head over this way, check on this kind of oh, right, comatose. Sam. Blumpkin over here. <laughs> I just um, went to the first see, human thing I saw out there. That yeah, wasn't yeah, what's to going eat on me. with this? What's, what's going on Sam, with Buddy in the corner? Sam's conscious again, because um, he, he, he had roughly the same dose of anesthetic as um, uh, Blastertoad. He, he's conscious again. Um, the the anti-anxiety, <clears throat> anti-psychosis um, medication appears to have worked to a certain degree. Perhaps a little bit too well because he he's just kind of like sat in the corner. His eyes are dilated, and, and he's just starts sitting there, just kind of like grinning to himself. Um, he, he's got his um, or he's got a, uh, a small uh, computer interaction device um, on his lap, and um, he appears to be playing some kind of tower defense. Um, <laughs> just, 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 just sitting there, just humming to himself, and just, just using his fingers, just, just to play a tower defense game, um, as, as he just sits in the corner. That's messed up. All right, I'm just gonna. <laughs> no, like seriously, like after all it. this, dude is so happy, drugged. He's just like, do 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 do. Let me play on my armband here. <laughs> yay! And he gets blown up, and he gets blown up, and yay! I got a chain of twenty-seven. Woohoo! And then frickin' okay, so space I'm, I'm, I'm zombies I'm everywhere I'm, else. I'm, pa I'm pause this here for a real life situation. I'm not going anywhere, but um, you know Michael? He's yes. got a uh, no, not, no, different Michael. Okay. Jane. 
uh, he's got a tarantula in his room and it crawled under his bed. <laughs> so that's just that's just my fun story I had to share because nope. <laughs> okay, whatever. Spiders. <laughs> Freaking no, space that's not zombies, dude. Do. Tarantulas, dude. There's tarantulas actually like in trail now. Yeah. So that's kind of. That's so, dude. What the terrifying. hell are they gonna do? They're like spiders. eat small birds and that. But if you roll over in your sleep, you just crushed it. It's no they, biggie. No, I just I don't do spiders. I don't do spiders, man. That makes me not happy. But this back, I'm gonna detail, detail that you need to know is, is as you got up from behind the desk and you walked out, you, you walked past the desk on which is sitting Wiggly Plant, and, and Wiggly Plant just kind of like caressed your arm as you went past. Okay. <laughs> okay. Some plant no, action. No, I can Bow chicka wow wow. Because <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna head out into the hydroponics area. No, you wanna... are It was Why decompressed. Not? Because it's been it's decompressed, still... and if you open that door, we just right. lost a ton of oxygen again, you don't Right. You... I thought you recompressed it. I thought we you can't. Can. Not, not after the second time. He recompressed it after right. the first time. The second set of right. zombies are still locked in there and decompressed. Right, right. Right, that's right. You did that. I forgot. <laughs> Shit. Like, okay, fine. I, I, I see, up. like... <laughs> on this kind of line where like you're just disappearing behind that corner but like i can see you through like some glass like just your head bobbing around you're like you go you you touch the panel me, no. i'm just like fuck no <laughs> and, and you look back and you're like what no. it's like yeah dude there's no there, there's there's yeah. no air over there and we'd zombies be dead and crap. Well, i'd be dead um can we you would all a have boost? a lower Yep. We would all have a much lower oxygen rate again. C can you roll a build day for me, Blastodon? Oh, I'll tell you. Plus three. Um, that's oh, that's right. horrible. Okay, so so Toad's not going to thank me for this. Um, but, <laughs> I got a five um, total with my thingy, <clears throat> my modifier. Um, <clears throat> yes, um, but you're not going to thank me for this. But um, basically, you. You completely forget everything, um, everything you know um, about um, piloting ships. It, it, it just goes out of your mind. Um, <laughs> every time you think about piloting, and this is the point where real life Toad is going to hate me for this. Every every point time you think about spaceships, or you think about piloting a ship, or you think about controlling a ship, um, you just hear you just hear dogs barking in the back of your head, and you just you, you can't focus anymore. <laughs> Saverick, Saverick, yep. roll a will save for me. Okay, why is that? Is that just like random mental snap? Yep, you're just having mental breaks. Oh, god damn. Okay, Saverick actually gets high enough to resist his mental break on day one. Plus eight. Yep, you, wow. get, you get 24. And, uh, Holy, okay. This like, is you couldn't be just like, hero. I have a, a, a crippling fear, fear of looking dogs in the eyes anymore or something like that. Like, I forget no. how to fly space things. <laughs> I, I, I rolled to see which one of your skills would, would, would be eaten by this. Does that just I mean I lose pilot. my piloting skill altogether? Um, if you try and pilot something, you can make another will check to actually be allowed to use your skill. Um, a DC 15 will check to use the skill, but every time you try and use the pilot skill from now on, your character just, just has a, a twitchy moment of, of, of dogs barking in the back of his head. And then suddenly not. <laughs> that is so oh sad. Oh, God that damn. is so great. That is, you so you ass puppet! <laughs> Why is that the first thing that pops into my head? <laughs> but anyway, you are such oh, a dick. Love it, you Where the hell did the ass puppet come from? <laughs> what? How far did you break me, droid? <laughs> that I just yell out ass puppet now. What the oh, hell? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Oh, oh my ribs. Oh my All right. ribs. All right. Yeah. Oh. Okay, now that, I've, now that I've kind of realized that the plant touched me and I wasn't, you know, losing my my mind i'm gonna go back in there and after not decompressing us all yes <laughs> i'm gonna go back in there and i'm gonna how what what shape is this plant again 
Is there, it's like a bunch like, of different sized vines all wrapping I'm gonna cut one of them off. I'm gonna okay, cut so, one of them off. Oh, so, so um, not can... only is it humanoid creatures, but he also has to remove the hands of plants. <laughs> So, so he, as you reach reach it, you, you reach out and you take hold of one of the um, the vines, and the vine instantly releases its grip on the the frame that it's holding onto and wraps itself around your arm. Um, it's so fast that you you have no chance of, of stopping it. Um, and then <clears throat> other vines other vines on the plant start releasing themselves and, and sort of wrapping around parts of your arm where you're holding onto the planet. Planet plant. You do know you could have just dumped the damn thing out on the desk. Or on the auto dock, like you could have just been like empty contents of pot. Nope. But no, you're like I'm gonna touch it. Yay! <laughs> Where, where's that intelligence modifier of yours? Did it just take like twelve dips? <laughs> yeah, it's on par with yours now. Oh. <laughs> uh. Right. Okay. So you've got a um, plant wrapping itself around your arm. Sorry, I just had to throw your guy off the board. And the moment <laughs> it was. Actions, please, Savrek. Um. Okay. So it's wrapped itself around my arm. I'm gonna book my ass over to the um, whatever it's called, the Orthodox, where yeah. I was examining shit before. Yeah, and oh, I wanna. Um, since we had like the horribly calming night's rest. Uh, yep. Did we replenish our HP? Yes, you replenish HP up to your maximum equal to, or or equal to your level, whichever is the, the sort of lesser. So I so, got plus two because I had only ever yep. taken plus two. Yep. And yeah, I'm back up to my 19. plus three. Yeah. Yep. yep, that's right. Yep, that's fine. Yep. Sorry, just okay. wanted to take care of that before I forgot about it. Because, you know, I yep, might forget about it like I forget that. about freaking piling shit. So, so um, Blastertoad and the woman are sitting in the corner. The woman is quietly crying to herself while she, she systematically munches her way through about four meals worth of um, vacuum-packed food. Um, Blastertoad is sitting in the corner, slowly munching his way through his, his vacuum-packed chunk of gelatine food. And um, okay, we have Savrak wrapped in a um, vine from uh, sort of wrist to elbow, uh, walking over to the autodoc where there is a sort of slowly twitching lump of flesh sitting on the autodoc still. Okay. This um, is like a scene I'll... from a horrible B movie. I'm going to move to the <laughs> other autodoc away from the one with the flesh. What autodoc? And... There's only no, one there's autodoc. Auto it's a very oh, rare well, machine, right. you ass. Right. Whoops. Yeah, <laughs> realize that. I just went full retard. I'm gonna I'm gonna move the lump of flesh and throw it onto the ground for now. Okay, so so Savrok just kind and... of like flicks the flesh onto the floor. So like Savrok, blood. with the yeah. arm covered in plant and <clears throat> pot dragging along now, does a swipe across the desk Actually. to fling the <laughs> fling the flesh across, breaking the pot <laughs> on the desk. Question, question, yeah. Savrok, which hand yes. do you use? Do you use My the hand? hand. The hand covered in the pot, or the hand, or the hand covered in plant, or the hand not covered in plant. The hand, the hand not covered in plant. You dumbass! Okay. You just lost Obviously. both your hands to things. That no, no, flesh no, is going to grab fine. you now. The, 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 the flesh is on the floor. That's fine. Oh, okay. I was expecting okay, that to start um, wrapping around his finger or something. I'm like, no, you dumb. and I'm going to try and remove it with try and remove the uh, plant from my arm with my cyber arm knife and examine it. Okay, so so you start cutting the plant away from your arm, and um, you notice that, it, as with most uh, vine-like plants, it has little um, tendrils that grow out of the vine that like wrap around things to hold it on. Um, and you notice that those things have been growing remarkably fast, and there's quite a few of them wrapped around your arm now. Um, and you kind of like hack away at it, and then as you hack away, the the vines kind of like fold away from your arm, and then fold back and start trying to grip onto your arm again. Um, after a bit of concerted effort and, and, and determined work, you manage to pry the bloody thing off your arm um, and, and kind of like have it flat on the um, auto dock desk. Okay, uh, I want to I want to take a look at it through the microscope. I want to see exactly what it is we're dealing with on a microbial level. Okay, so you go back into the autodox um, uh, uh, mic microscopic examination thing, and you sort of zoom in and zoom in and zoom in and zoom in and zoom in. And um, as you get down to the the microscopic level, you can see the the plant cells, the the um, 
cellulose cells um, of the surface of the plant and wrapped around these cellulose cells and going into them and through them are the same um, little um, cells with the, the slightly thicker than nerve ending connections kind of this this web that's wrapped itself around the plant as well okay well i'm gonna hmm. okay. the um food pack i have is it different from what lady has yes okay so quietly standing up i turn back to do we even know her name yet no Yes, you do. Uh, you asked. You asked. You asked her name. Well, you got her ID badge, and you also did actually ask her name when you first found her. It is Ariana. Ariana, right? Turn to Ariana. I offer her the food bag, seeing that it's a different flavor than what she's currently been munching on. So give her some variety. <laughs> okay. And so, then so leaving that for her, I walk over to see what the hell's happening over here. Okay, so so she she sort of takes the food pack and then she returns to crying over the photograph of her her her. Um, partner or ex-husband or or whatever he happens to be mm -hmm. and, and slowly munching her way through food um she is now determinedly munching her way through all three packs of food sitting in front of her um but <laughs> but oh well ah, she has some secret really i'll make you fat so that he's no longer attracted to you and i have a chance More. <laughs> <laughs> sorry i just had to break that out for a moment because you know food packs and, and also because, you know, a little bit of light humor after someone shotgun a dog human creature in the face. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, there was, we need some humor. <laughs> this is freaking dark. Hey, I told you at the beginning this was going to be sci-fi horror. This isn't horror, this is just... It's psychological dark. horror. Puppy yes. kill you. Psychological. It's 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 not monster horror. It's it's psychological horror. And the puppy killing you did yourself. That was nothing to do with me. Yeah, I I protested that too. So that one's all a hundred percent on you. <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure we get that. So um, how many hands around severed. your necklace now? Uh, uh so far three. <laughs> oh, seriously, he's count. I go to the other side to take a look at what's going on. <laughs> Okay, so so um, oh, you look damn. you look at the microscope and you see this this net of um, net of things just wrapped around um, wrapped <clears> around the <throat> vine. This net of cells um, connected together. Um, is it multiple screens? Like, is this a, showing a comparison to also the previous scanned item, or do I not know about the previous scanned item? Um, it doesn't currently have because no one's tried to make one. But you could bring up a comparison of the two. It would be. Um, reasonably easy on the autodoc to compare slides okay that's what i want to do because they're okay yeah i i walked past the lump of flesh so i noticed that he's already put that through okay yeah, so I, want already... to, I, I want to see what's what's happening with both of them since i'm like assuming that he already had this on the table since it's now like splattered on across the floor, the floor and wall floor. <laughs> <laughs> okay so, so um, on your side of the table, last turn with a few presses of a button, it's reasonably kind of like logical interface. As with most labs that want to compare cells, the Autodoc has the facility of comparing slides, um, and it pulls up two things, and, and both of the things are wrapped and have these these cells wrapped around them and going into them, um, connected by these long threads that are a bit like sort of like the the way that um, like sci-fi and things represents the brain as uh, these little cells with long threads connecting mm. them, uh, wrapping in and through and around the material that's attached to. Uh, Savrik, what are you up to? Um, okay, I want to cut off a piece of the tendril from the plant, a small piece about six inches. Okay, so because you know that the second you touch it, the plant's going to try and grab hold of you, you're a little bit more yeah. careful this time, and you you basically you you basically sort of like. Um, Treat it a bit like someone will treat a, a, a plant on the cutting board, and you, you basically hit it with the knife first before you touch it with your hand. You manage to sever the end off one of the, the tendrils, a couple of inches worth of um, thing. The moment you pick up that end of the tendril, it does try and wrap itself around your <clears> finger, but it's not quite long enough to, to wrap all the way around your finger. Yeah, I will. Uh, I will. I'll move the plant off onto the ground elsewhere, and then I'll I'll put the. I'll leave this severed tendril in the middle while I grab the piece of. Flash that's off in the corner. Okay, so so Savrix um, cut a chunk of tendril off. He's picked the flesh off the floor. Are you going to say anything about this master? Is this going to like impact your character at all? I think. What is, the hell is are he... you doing with that small piece of flower? I'm 
I, I just, mine. Just let me, let me, uh, let me, let me see if this, if I have something right here. I want to, uh, I want to leave the tendril on the table and wave the piece of flesh over top of it within a few uh, inches. I'll say, so eight inches over top of it. Okay, so so um, like you have a, a little bit of tendril sitting on the desk. Um, Blaster Toad watches you um, as as Savric picks up this lump of of wiggling arm flesh and, and kind of waves it over the table as if he's like um, wafting. Um, uh, uh, I don't know, what are nice you doing? Smell. <laughs> and and, and um, pretty much nothing happens. Okay. I, I figured that the tendril would have some way of knowing where the flesh would be. It's like a each part is its own whole, but that doesn't seem to be quite the case. It does and it doesn't. They're Not ignoring making each any... other. There's some sort of combination yeah. there. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, like they're something they try to, I don't know. I don't know what I was going for there, but it so wasn't it, what I was it, hoping. <clears throat> Roll a spot check, Blaster Toad. Yeah, do do I know that it... I guess I really don't know that it wrapped around his arm, because I just saw him storm crazily over to the thing and slap flesh off a table. <laughs> Finally! Nice. Okay, wow. so, so, so while... While Savrick is waving this meat in the air, and like basically standing above the autodoc with a lump of sort of slightly rotting gelatine dripping blood flesh in his hand and waving it about like he's some kind of weird conductor. Um, <laughs> I, just, uh, I can imagine the sounds of small blood splatter as he's like waving it around like he's conducting music. Yep. Just little um, splitters and splatters across clean lab equipment. Oh. Toad manages to drag his eyes off this this bizarre sight and looks down at the autodox uh, microscope, which is still focused on where the tendril happens to be. Mm -hmm. um, and as blood spatters on the table, um, some pieces, of, some sort of droplets of blood land next to mm -hmm. the tendril. Um, and you notice that in blood there are these same cells. Mm -hmm. And the moment the blood touches the tendril, these cells connect together. They these these cells will reach out for yeah. each other and they lattice between the blood and the, the tendril. Okay. Uh, are you yeah, sharing that the bug, yeah. the, the, the thing wrapped around you first? Or like, do I know that at all or no? No, I haven't shared any of that information. Okay. Would I have seen that as he's out. going by, Droid? As I'm munching uh, you, on my meat pack? You, you probably would have seen him kind of like walk past waving his arm and you most certainly would have noticed that he took out his combat knife and started hacking at his arm okay. um so you, you could probably connect the two together and, and, and assume that whatever it was was trying to hold onto his arm because wiggly plant and okay. man hacking at his i'm arm. gonna come around here how do i approach this situation where the hell are you going i'm following you uh show me I'm your arm right there show me your arm Sorry. Blaster Toad right. walks around Savrock and literally just says to his face, show me your arm. Yeah, this is all first person now, <laughs> show me your arm. Yeah, get, get, there, uh, I want to do it. a structural check on his spacesuit. Okay, Because I assume Examine he's still in the spacesuit. And that he is indeed, examining his spacesuit. Really, I only spot, or er, a structural check I guess would be, where is my sheet, so that was a seven... And an eight. an eight. Okay. That's not okay. Cool. So that, that that's not too bad. You get up to a fifteen. Um uh, basically um you march around the table and, and say to, to Savrock, um, show me your arm. Um at which point Savrock kind of looks at you and holds out his arm like an obedient dog. Um <laughs> You, you you take a, take hold of Savrock's arm and you start looking at it and peering at it, um, looking at the spacesuit. You notice that around his arm there are still some of these very thin tendrils um, that vines used to grip onto uh, other things, and they've kind of like buried themselves into um, edges of his armor and uh, around the edge of his gauntlet, and, and um, one of them's kind of working its way into the um, uh, metal joint of his elbow. Um, they don't seem to be doing much now. They seem to be quite stationary, but they seem to have kind of like managed to get purchase on his his suit's arm. Um, there's no particular damage to the integrity of the suit. You can't see there's any way that these things could get through his suit. Um, the suit is is um, 
completely atmospherically tight so there's no way for, way for bacteria to worm their way through the suit as far as you're aware so as far as you're aware like the suit is still perfectly intact it just has these bits of stationary green uh, gripper vines still sort of like attached to it that what would be in this room what would be in anything uh, extremely cold extremely cold Oh, you want me well, to not dose extremely you cold, with a fire cold. extinguisher? I mean... Um... Maybe? <laughs> okay, I head over to the shelf where the med packs were. Are there still okay. any there, or have we moved and destroyed them all, or whatever? The, the, there's still a couple of med packs. This, okay. this was quite a large base and had quite good supplies. Okay, so I grab a med pack, and I scrape its edge across the table. Pushing as much as I can off the side. Okay. And then I grab a scrap of linen I tear off one of the bed sheets and I try to remove as much material, blood splat or whatever, from the focusing area of the auto dock and its microscope. What are you trying to do? What I'm trying to do is, um, so you say there's like interlocking rings on our suit for movement and that. Can I remove my glove? You can, yes. Okay, so I remove my glove. Shoving as much as my forearm out as I can. Mm. And peering around the room, I look for a scalpel and take a small chunk of chunk of flesh from the back of my forearm. Okay, take two damage. Put it under the <laughs> microscope, see if um see if there's any hints of the lattice work in my flesh. Okay, so um while Savrak is watching, Toad rips his, his uniform, his spacesuit glove off, which is uh, tended to be considered a no-no, um, but he does it anyway. He then shoves his forearm out, grabs a scalpel, and basically melon balls his own arm. Um, I'm back yeah, because that's a bit psychotic. Oh, come on, Savrick's you cut people's up. hands off. Yeah, he doesn't You do this in himself. absolute silence. <laughs> You're just like, I'm just gonna slice? Here you go. That, no. No, he, he, he no. probably he no. probably grunts a, a bit as he cuts. It. Like he's not used any of like the contact anesthetic or anything. He's just like sliced chunker. He probably makes a bit of noise as he does it. Um, so he deposits this flesh. <laughs> um, like that, yeah. as I'm trying to withstand the, a scream or withhold the scream. Perhaps a tad less sexual. <laughs> <laughs> or more. Or more. I mean, we don't know what he's actually like. <laughs> yes, true. Um, and and uh, you look through the autodox uh, microscope. Um, the flesh itself has none of this lattice work on it, but because you didn't sterilize the table, you literally just scrubbed the table down with a piece of cloth. There are some of these lattice cells still sitting on the um, table, mm -hmm. and you notice that they 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 kind of um, almost like caterpillar themselves towards the flesh, and um, they start wrapping around the the melon ball of flesh and um, uh, plunging the um, tendrils they have into cells and, and um, you see them start to draw material from the cells into themselves and uh, if you watch long enough you'll see them start to replicate. Okay, so they need fresh flesh to replicate. And they do replicate, okay. it's not an organism that's just there and... It's, yeah, okay. Well... Okay, I grab what's left of the or I grab the med case that I discarded, apply a bit of the biogel to myself, and uh, reseal my suit. Okay. Um, so, um, basically, Savrock, what you've watched is you have watched uh, Blaster Toad scrape blood and flesh off the autodoc table, scrub yeah. it down with a piece of cloth, um, completely fail to use the uh, sort of inbuilt sterilization system that the, <laughs> the autodoc has because I'm not it's a an medic. <laughs> I'm a and, and, and then, then melon ball his own forearm, drop it onto the <laughs> autodoc's microscope, watch it for about a minute and a half, and then just walk off. What? 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 what, what well, when you put it like to... that, <laughs> dude. What? <laughs> You want to fill me in here? Anything exciting happen? Or are you just doing that for your own satisfaction? Like, please fill me in, Emma. <laughs> Take a look at this. Like, telling Savrock as I come over back to the display. 
and okay, so. I bring up a um, try to at least bring up a recording of what I just witnessed as the cell cells attack the non-infected infected flesh, and that okay, it so. is in fact non-infected flesh. Okay, so it's not particularly difficult to bring back a, bring up a recording. As you're sort of bringing up a recording and playing it back, um, there's a, a loud sort of um, almost like a screen noise, and uh, both of you jump and, and spin round. And Samuel's sitting in the corner, and he looks up and goes, "High score," and then puts his head back down. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was like, oh, shit, we're screwed. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. <laughs> okay. Oh. You're oh, sadistic. <laughs> I was just expecting to get screwed right there. You suck. I hate you. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, my oh. rib cage. Oh, oh, my ribs hurt. Oh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> um, but, you, <laughs> but you bring up a recording and it shows back the flesh um, being infected by the cells that are left on the table. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I, so I, I'd, like, that information. I'd like to um, pull up a screen <laughs> comparing the two scans and the results of my scientific experiment. And okay. then I'm going to walk over to Ariana, is that it? Yep. Okay, Ariana. Offer her my hand, so outreach my hand. Can can you help us for a so second? Uh, I, um, I need you to take a look at a thing. Ariana um, kind of looks up. She, she's got dead eyes. Um, she, she looks like, um, like, like a photograph of a woman has been digitally edited to try and remove any kind of like um, intelligence or any kind of uh, humanity from the eyes. Um, and she just kind of stares at you for a good 10, 12 seconds before nodding and going, yeah, sure. Um, and she oh, just stands shit. up. Um, she's still got a, a block of um, gelatine food in her hand and she's just gnawing away at the gelatine food as she follows you back to the auto dock. And um, she kind of watches and uh, Watches the screen. Can, can you can you make sense of any of this, or have is this something that you are working on, or you are aware was on the station, or can you provide um, she, any insights into this? Um, she's a, a hydroponics officer, so um, no biology she, and shit. Yeah, she knows stuff. Yeah, yeah, she know, she knows about earth and life sciences. Strangely enough, Samuel also has a, a strong background in earth and life sciences. But Samuel's playing tower defense at the moment, so <laughs> he's a little bit busy. Um, it's a really popular tower defense name, game, uh, and he did manage to beat one of his high scores. <laughs> he seemed quite proud of that too. God yeah. Damn it, Samuel. <laughs> At least somebody's got something going on, right? <laughs> well, I'm having um quite good luck with this woman now following me around and not being afraid of me anymore. So. Oh no, she's fucking petrified of you. Um, she's just <laughs> she's just broken. Um... Fair enough. Oh. Like, Fair enough. You yeah. know that you know that point where kidnap victims just become really <clears throat> fucking docile. Did I just Stockholm this bitch? Yes, yeah. basically. God damn she doesn't it. love That's you. Great. She doesn't love you, but but at least she's docile. Um, she she looks at the results <laughs> and um, and she uses her background in in biology and medicine. And she she basically she through a, a halting, stuttering voice manages to explain to you that these are obviously some kind of bacteriological cell. The fact that they connect together suggests they are some kind of multicellular parasite. Um, the fact that they replicate. Um, uh, probably suggests that they are some kind of unicellular creature. So this is obviously a strange combination between a unicellular bacteria and a multicellular parasite. Um, hmm. she, 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 she hasn't heard of anything like this in the past. Like multicellular hmm. parasites are usually quite distinct and they usually have a very long replicating cycle that involves basically producing two copies of themselves within their outer shell and then splitting up. Um, the fact that these are just individual cells replicating and then joining together, uh, this is this is an odd thing. Like certain sponges in the sea on Earth have the ability to recombine themselves into a solid organism mm -hmm. once they've been split up into pieces. Well, some but of them just like the... eject their guts as a defense mechanism. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's pretty much the only sort of simile she has for this. Is is uh, kind of like a. 
um, uh, multicellular. And that's sun. actually science, people. So whoever's watching this video later, go check out sea Look sponges that actually erupt and like spew their guts to play dead and have other predators and ignore them. Just as a a random uh, real life thing that you guys watching this video might want to look up. Look up the experiment where they blended in a liquid processor eight different species of sea sponge, poured them into a tank, and the sea sponges split themselves up by species and recombined into their sponges. Holy crap, I gotta see that. Yeah, that, that is need to watch that. Okay, you're gonna have to um drop a link to that in the Discord, so I that I can link it. that in the video afterwards. Okay, okay. That'll be awesome. Um, so, so this is mm. a, basically, as, and she says most of this in quite a very kind of like, um, dead voice. There's there's pretty much no emotion left in this woman. She she stops talking every five or six words to take another bite of um, gelatine food, um, and and she just like stands there once she's finished talking, staring at the auto dock as as and then just stands there chewing food. Um... <laughs> she's a robot. Okay. Uh, to being like company men for big companies, salvage. Uh, yep, douchebaggery yep. guys. Okay. Um, would our suits be recording video? Like, would they have helmet cams so that nope. they could? No, nope, they aren't watching us that closely. No. Damn uh, it. To tra transmit uh, video data across. Like... Well, not transmit, but like store it on your suit. So if your body was recovered, they could see what the hell happened. Nope. Uh, no. Your uh, your suit has a black box, but it records um, data via your uh, interior mics. Okay. Hmm. I was really hoping to show her the graph, uh, but I want to go ahead and, you know, I'm not going to first person this because it's way too much information, but I'm going to share with her the information regarding the graph and... The um, documents I found in the hidden control room with Roll um, a flat mass... intelligence check. Flat intelligence check. Okay, so just a d20 again? d20 plus one for your intelligence. Six. <laughs> Yeah, okay, it. so 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 you go into the 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 office and you you grab some um, paper and a, a pencil. Um, these things are still used in this day and age, um, hence the notepad and things you found mm -hmm. before. And and you kind of lay it out on the auto docs table and and you kind of scratch a rough. That is um, really stupid. A, a rough copy of the graph and like, and, and kind here's of... the contaminated area where like things are gravitating to um, you know, living flesh, flesh well, in that. You Let's just did just put it down to five. Yep. I, I know. And, uh, yeah. And uh, Fair enough. you managed to scratch out, like, you managed to remember some details. You remember weight versus intelligence. You remember um, some of the very, very minor <laughs> details about um, uh, some of the, the scientific experiments. To be fair, I was like tunnel vision pretty hard trying not to remember. Yep. Dog That's why man you managed Gumby. to remember anything at all. Oh. <laughs> Like you did really well on your your like tunnel visioning thing, so you've been able to remember quite a lot despite a very low roll. Mm -hmm. uh, you remember enough that she kind of um, looks over it and she kind of looks at you and she goes, um, and and she 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 sort of looks at you and she nods, and um, and she kind of looks at you and she nods again and she, she eats some of the food and and, and and she looks down at the graph and she goes, um, well well, it gets more intelligent when it gets bigger. I frickin' knew that. Uh, <laughs> I go over to s talk to Sam, and that was okay. that was that was first person. It's just like I'm freaking knew that. I okay, knew that. he's so, he's done. Um, you, you, uh, you 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 declare to this woman that you freaking knew that right in her face, and she just like tears start rolling down her face, um, and you, <laughs> you, you just you just march off to Samuel. <laughs> Sorry, okay, you I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna roll diplomacy and try to calm this situation. Let's okay. Just calm okay. Her and down. I share the exact same information I shared with the woman with Sam. Okay. And I um, beckon him to take a look at the graphs on the computer. Okay. So, so the woman stopped crying. Plus six. She, she she seems to have calmed down a little bit. She's 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 still kind of slightly insane, um, but she seems to have calmed back down to chewing on her food block, um, like like a sort of slightly kind of damaged animal um yeah 
I, I, yeah. <laughs> Sanyo um, comes out. Can we just stuck. like shoot her in the ass with some of those like anti Stockholm drugs, drugs things or anti cabin fever drugs? Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna, I want to ask her what is it that gets smarter as it gets bigger? What is the it that was mentioned? She, she looks at you like, like you're a, a creature from like another world and, and kind of tilts her head and, and like points at the orthodox and says whatever the fuck that thing is okay so she knows nothing about it at all she, i'm gonna ask her if she knows anything about the uh hidden room behind the command center with the um gumby sort of what the shit oh, yeah, fucking, yeah. oh <laughs> fucking wow Oh, you know what would be a awesome. really, really good idea? Tell this woman about, like, this crazy freaking thing <laughs> in a hidden room that she knows nothing about. You know what? Let, let, let's make it better. Let's, like, take her for a tour and, like, not tell her anything. Just be like, hey, how'd you like to come see some cool stuff? And then, like, twitchy-ass zombies on the floor, an amorphous blob in the corner with an arm that skinned itself sticking out of a freaking tank. You are an awesome human being. <laughs> okay. Oh, so, sorry. I just. Oh. <laughs> I rolled a will save for her, um, and 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 she scored very very low. Um, oh, no. She scored like I did. <laughs> yeah, she scored like you. Yeah. Did. So basically, um, Savrock tells her that, um, or, or asks her, that, did she know anything about the secret room hidden in? Oh goddamn, dude! Like, like seriously. With the weird amorphous creature, and he he for some odd reason decides to go into grand detail describing the thing and explaining <laughs> that it had human teeth and a wolf head, and 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 she lit she she literally just kind of like just just turns around and just walks away, um and and she just like walks back into the medical walks past the medical office door, round the corner, back out from around the corner, back up to the door, in through the door, and just goes and sits down at the desk. <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't just off herself. Yeah. <laughs> like seriously, like just walks past the you know All right. med bays here, slowly picks up a scalpel, walks around the corner, <laughs> ah, is all we hear, and yeah. Okay. At least you we would have then got to loot her, and you know you could like cut off her hands or some shit. <laughs> you know what? Fine, see so you. I'm gonna intimidate her into giving me information That's since you gave me that much of a dick. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Oh Christ! Yeah. This is just so bad. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Okay, what did he roll? She's not responding to conventional means. He got She's a critical failure to too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, so um. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm really not sure how to deal with this because like <laughs> you you've you've literally managed to go beyond anything I have prepared. <laughs> Just, like, you've completely off track. Has now. he already done this, or is there enough time for me to run over there and try to stop him? Uh, you're talking to Samuel uh, at the moment. Samuel, is you know nothing. Right, I haven't even finished on. that. Well, I got to see her storm off, and you run after her now. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, so basically, uh, you run in and and you basically just start screaming at her incoherently. <laughs> um, at, at which point, she 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 just starts like screaming back at you and, and throwing packs of food in your face, um, uh, and then just bursts in tears and just collapses into a heap behind her desk and just just becomes this this curled up ball of, of fetal crying in the corner. Um. <laughs> You she was responding to conventional means, though. The, this Red. woman, this woman, if she survives this, this woman is going to end up in the loony bin. There is literally, <laughs> you have, her psyche is so far gone, there is no recovering this. Like, oh, shit. I'm, I'm almost tempted just to have, just to remove her as a character now, because she's so far gone. She's, she, she, like... You could She's shoot her table. with anti-anxiety medications, and she'd and probably just, gonna... just cry. She'd probably just cry and think you were doing <laughs> cruel things to her. You've just, you've just broken her too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. She wasn't responding to conventional means. I wanted to Meanwhile... get all the information I could. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at Samuel and um, Jake Long, um, 
the 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 porno star come low orbital scavenge <laughs> officer. Um. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you had to inject something in there because that was just horrible. Yeah, so brutal. There was no saving grace there. I just... <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, you could have right. raped her at this point and left her less emotionally <laughs> scarred. That's essentially what I'm getting in this situation. So Samuel's Earth Life Science uh, is 10. So Samuel gets 21 on his Earth Life Science, which isn't bad at all. So Samuel kind of looks at it and, and he, he looks at the details you've given, he looks at the, the records. And although he keeps looking back at the data pad that he's left in the corner and, and kind of his, his hands twitching towards the data pad, um, he does manage to share with you that in all reality, in all likelihood, um, these things are probably um, some kind of self replicating. Um, thought processing unit um are they kind of like pulling... the um the un you, you know like uncentral nervous system of the jellyfish or like brain of the jellyfish yeah, he, he's leaning towards that he's leaning towards the idea that basically they are a a nervous system pack very similar to a brain but they spread themselves out over a large area um, very rapidly. Um, he, he even postulates the idea that um, the, the larger the area, the, the larger the processing power of the, the, the amorphous entity. Um, so uh, that matches up with your mass compared to intelligence thing. The idea that the more mass this thing accru accrues, the more intelligent it would get. Um, Have you ever watched Saturn might... 3? No. I... Okay, because basically what you're describing is the big j brain jar that they use to power a robot in Saturn 3. See, that's really it's, funny it's, because... it's a good old sci-fi movie about robot death machine. It's awesome. That, that's you should watch that's it. really funny because I was just about to say that Samuel um, says to you that he remembers the sci-fi that he watched when he was a kid um, that had like this, this amorphous entity that grew bigger and became more intelligent. And in that, it became the size of a planet and it could see all possible futures. And it decided that the best way to sort of um set, sort of deal with the universe was to control everything um so it produced uh, technology that allowed it to take control of the universe um and the sci-fi was all around kind of like trying to deal with this all-knowing entity that was the size of a planet um and um he, he looks at you and he says uh, i have to go play the, the, the game all right so, uh, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna let him this. go. He's 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 too broken for that. <laughs> yeah. By the way, guys, like this level of broken that you're experiencing with these people, um, this is the sort of level of broken, like from what you've seen. Like people have become non-functional because of what they've seen. You've seen the same sort of shit as these people. It's impressive your characters are still functional, if only barely. <laughs> Pretty damn barely. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm so glad I rolled that that I got that save. I would have been unhappy. <laughs> Yo, but you said I didn't forget how to buy it shit. <laughs> yeah, you you, you would have been really unhappy because um the I, I rolled on your skill tables to decide which skill would uh, be linked to your mental breakdown. Yeah. Yeah, your character would have been scared of hiding from things. He would he would have become no! in the dark Oh, that would have been awesome. <laughs> no, oh, but basically, I'm so glad. Yes. Basically, the, the the way I would have described it is every time you tried to hide yourself in a dark corner, um, your character started imagining things reaching out from the darkness to like pull him deeper into the darkness, and would just freak out and could get try and get out of the darkness again. Oh my goodness! Damn. Okay. Wait until day two, so, guys. It gets better. <laughs> so we have all this information. What do we try to do? I can think of three possibilities. Okay. Okay. Lay them out. All right. I guess four possibilities. Okay. Turn okay. to you, Saravok. And at this point, it's so broken. I've got no point or no. No choice but to, like, try to pull my brain together and try yep. to be chummy with the other humans in the area. So I put yep. my arm out on his shoulder. 
like a a drunken dude I love you type thing. Okay. <laughs> Get. And while looking at him, I hold up my other hand and start counting. One. There's another airlock down here, down the hallway we last traveled through. We can see what's out there. Two. Supplies were going somewhere. There, there's buggies. Like that's that's got to lead somewhere. Three. This is from what Sam has told us and what I can kind of put together from that science crap I pulled out over there at the computer. This is a, a, a brain or a processing unit that gains intelligence as it amasses. So we can start trying to collect it and then see if we can converse with the thing. Like we, we can just start collecting everything. Like we we've got two zombies still over there. We've got the the thing in the tank. Like we can just throw all these pieces in the tank and like give it more mass and see see what we can do. Or four. She's not looking too well as I gesture over here. <clears throat> um we we don't know what this does to a living person yet. We have a sample. <laughs> do, we, do we need to Do we need to find out what happens? Like, there's, there's four things we can do here. Oh my god. Okay. Are you guys um, okay over first there? Off, first <laughs> off, um, I was already thinking about doing that. Which, with... I just, like, mentioned four things. I was already thinking about doing that, you know, like, after I just, like, mentally raped this woman. Of all her sensibilities. <laughs> I mean... Let's, like, put her face on this table. And see what the hell happens when she's infected. She is or... sort of useless. I, I'd suggest drugging her up first so she doesn't have to be awake. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> okay. So Okay. If, if we're going we down agreed? this if we're going down this path, we know what these things can do at at full strength. And actually, you know, Sam's quite quite happy over there. Um, he he doesn't need to hear this. Let's switch over to a private channel, and yeah, um, yeah. Let let's not let him hear this. Okay, so let's switch. Yeah, we switch over to private channel. You agree? Perfect. Yeah, agree. Okay. Yes. Um, please. <laughs> we already know what these things can do at full strength, uh, and with with them. How how do I say this? So, uh, with them if fully intact. Do we do we need to make sure that it's it's not God. able to flash back out first? We have four pieces of the min steel rope. So we're just gonna fucking tie her to a table. <laughs> I mean, it's better than the alternative, don't you? Oh, but is it? She'll be digging into herself as she struggles against it. Wouldn't it just be better to like drug her the hell up and? Amputate remove the rise. weaponable parts and gel oh, her. Fucking hell. Amputate at the elbows. Just and no, knees, like, we'll, and we'll, then... we'll be removing the weapons. It's not an amputation. We'll be removing the weapons. <laughs> fucking hell. Fuck you, droid. You made this happen. <laughs> um. <I'll laughs> Was this is what you're expecting, God? Is this what you wanted? I'll, I'll be doing the removal because I know how I've done it. A lot. Okay, okay. First off, guys, roll yeah. roll saves for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, let me. Yay, I got a 21. Finally. Oh, holy fucking hell, you both succeeded. Right. So, yeah, this, was this, that this going to be our second mental break? <laughs> This, this yes. could easily have caused a mental break. Um, yes. Easily have caused a mental break. Has it not? We're, we're talking about cutting a woman up. Like, I was totally <laughs> expecting, like, let's go to the buggies. I was just mentioning, like, things that we could do, but... Let's, let's put it like this. It's not the mental break that has caused you to do. This hasn't caused any damage to your abilities. Your psyches may be fucked up, yeah. but your abilities <laughs> remain intact for now. Um, okay. So... So That's essentially, all that matters. Like, th this this woman is a catatonic, crying mess. So she's not actually going to put up any resistance when you come to do this. Um, she's just going to like be a curled up ball crying as you tie her up and drag her to the auto dock. We're going to blast her with <laughs> anesthetic first. 
I'm we're going to pump her full first. of anesthetic. She is not going to be well, conscious. No, we can't pump her full. Just enough that she can't no. fully realize the pain. Because oh, we, we oh, don't shit. want the drugs to affect the, the results of the test. Yeah, but... Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow. Did you ever Let's see this it. coming, Droid? No. no. <laughs> I'm glad we're providing you with something new and exciting. Oh it's god. Right. I expected you guys to like freak out and be disturbed by the stuff I gave you, but you guys have like you guys have gone so beyond. Like your your characters are so broken. You are essentially like sacrificing a woman on the altar of medicine for for, for your own <laughs> sick pleasure. Oh wow! Uh, what are we supposed to do about Sam? Um, drug him, give him another quick dose of whatever while he's playing his tower defense. He seems quite um. I expect there will be noise. Currently, there will be noise. Should we let him mess. in on the plan? He <laughs> no, we should if, not. If if he's if he's agreeable to this experiment and deweaponization of the horrible subjects we've come he against, is, he does he have some already. knowledge that may help us. I also have full medical knowledge. Uh, but he's... you're a sneaky bastard, dickbag. You're probably yeah. just going to enjoy taking off her hands so you can masturbate with them later. <laughs> I don't know what you do, but you're you're I, sick. I actually fuck. don't have. So it's your idea. <laughs> I'm going to talk to Sam. Okay. How am I the bad guy? You're the puppy killing psychopath. <laughs> yeah, and now you're both tying a woman to the table <laughs> and infecting her with a zombification virus. I mean, it's necessary. Shut up. We need to That's know what we're I'm... working with. Well, I, I, oh my. I, I hate to pull out the Nazi comparison, but what the Nazis did, they thought was necessary. You're an ass. <laughs> I'm not Hitler. Oh god, I'm essentially like anti gas the, the dogs. I anti gas the dogs. God, yeah. oh. Your puppy I'm gonna grab something to drink. Your Screw this. Hitler. He's puppy I'll Hitler. be back in a moment. I got my headset off. Oh. oh my god. Holy sh. I anti gas the dogs. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. oh, my ribcage. Oh, my ribcage. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> like, you guys, you guys, like, at no point in my wildest imagination as DM did I think that you would cause a mental break on the poor fucking hydroponics woman. And then tie her to the <laughs> auto dock with cable. <laughs> and then, you know, amputate her hands and feet. <laughs> See, this went from like psychological monster horror okay. like alien. Okay. Yep. To so, psychological so, so, <laughs> horror. <laughs> yeah. Well, but, I've got my yeah. mug of water and my small thing of rum, and I think I'm ready to do this shit. Okay. <laughs> I have nothing to drink. This game has driven Toad to alcohol. I, mm, that's I, really I'm tasty, too. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm too lazy to go, oh my god, you know <laughs> what, screw it. I'm gonna let... Yeah, you know what, now you need me. made me need a drink. I'm gonna go grab some. You <laughs> okay. So... so... In the okay, meantime, let's, Toad's gonna go over yeah. and talk Yeah, to I'm Sam. gonna go talk to Sam. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, how do I start yeah. this conversation? <laughs> That's totally on you, dude. Like, Samuel's sitting there playing his game. <laughs> um... Hmm... I did not think this through. <laughs> or I've, over just thought, I've overthought it through. I'm just waiting for this conversation, dude. I'm just standing here over him. Trying to, like, come to my senses and think about stuff. And and he's just, like... And he's focused on his game. Like, that's his yeah. whole world. <laughs> Do I steal that like from it. him? <laughs> I, I'm just looking at him like, does, does he need to do this? Do we need to do this? Do I need him to do this? <laughs> he's, he, he's so happy right now. What the shit am I doing? 
<laughs> Holy crap. Oh. This is like something from a creepy ass horror. <laughs> you wanted the horror campaign. You built it. <laughs> we have come. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, I don't even know what to do. Like it's just like little Joey sitting in the corner with his with his tablet out. Yep. He's so content. <laughs> the question is, do you drag Joey do you drag little Joey over to see see the woman get consumed by the vac bacteria? Do you do you? <laughs> Oh damn! Okay, what else has he done to? I, I'm to just standing over Sam. Sam. I'm standing over Sam, looking at it, like, can I even do this? Yeah. Like he he's like, so happy with his little tablet and game thing over there. I'm like, do I have to pull him into this? Do I have to do this? Is this something that's 100 percent necessary? Like freaking dog face Gumby dude, and leave him out of it. I'll I'll do it. You, we need at least one functioning member. So I'll do the damage, you do the research after. I come over and I pull her off the table. Okay, so... This so, is fucked up, dude. Like, 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 <laughs> yeah, but you I mean... Woman, you, you now have a woman tied up with aluminium steel rope, um, curled up in the corner crying, having been slapped down on the table. Bed the bed. I'm put her on I'm, the table I, with the I, bacteria. I, I'm, I, yeah. I'm turning her over. Does she already have, like, the stuff on her clothes? Like, I had mostly scraped it off, but, like, does she have stuff on her clothes? Um, like, she has, like, blood stains on her front from where you dropped her on top of arm flesh. Okay, I, I pull the cables off and I rip off her shirt. <laughs> I just throw it in the corner. Fuck. <laughs> Well, what else am I supposed to do? Like, I'm I just muting, might have I'm infected a woman. <laughs> I'm muting myself. I'll be back in a minute. I can't go through with this, man. <laughs> so instead, you can just... <laughs> well, I don't want her to become accidentally infected now. Like, this is a horrible mistake. You're a sick bastard that went along oh with this God. plan, and I thought I had to, but now I don't. <laughs> it was your plan to begin with. It was a possibility. It was one of four horrible possibilities. It didn't. <laughs> okay. Okay. Deep breath. Okay. Deep breath. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Okay, oh. so so just just like um, basically we'll just kind of like just deal with this situation. Um, she was tied up on the table with Minwire. You've pulled her off. You've seen there's a blood stain on her shirt. You freak out because you know that the blood stain on the shirt from where you cut your arm that that contains some of the bacteria because it was on the auto dock. So you grab the shirt and you rip it off her. Yeah, she's I, still curled up in the corner crying. Like th this has not had no effect on her at all because she's so gone. She's just she's literally just a ball of crying person now. Um, but um, Roller will save for me, Toad. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I just like anti snapped myself. I tried to save my own psychosis or my own sanity. We already rolled for the other one. Oh shit. Okay, so, so nothing happens. Oh, okay. Um, Good. Oh. Like, if you'd, oh, rolled, uh, if you'd rolled below 10 with with the bonus included, so if you'd mm. gotten below 10 with the bonus included, I would have had you have another mental snap. Um, if you'd gotten above 18 with the bonus included, so if basically you'd rolled 15 and above, I would have allowed you to undo your previous mental snap and get your piloting skill back. But, um, but no, like, nothing happens. <laughs> so... You now have a, uh, a topless woman with uh, <laughs> aluminium, alum, aluminium wire burns on her wrist, um, curled up in the okay. corner crying. Um, you have a blood-stained <clears throat> shirt. Uh, you have Samuel sitting in the corner, who's now started to whistle the theme tune to the video game he's playing. Um, <laughs> oh, this is so messed up. <laughs> this is just so freaking messed up. I'm legit say seventy percent of that is your fault, but I'm the one that scared her into a sobbing mess of what? And then you <laughs> could have been now. like, just like, let's go for the buggies, but you're like, no. And then we had this whole conversation wanna... about <laughs> testing on a. Oh, you are a sick bastard. More. 
we need to, I'd rather understand more before what if this gets out somehow? How will it transfer? How badly could it affect everything? It's, so I'm going to pull her away from like the clothing and bloodstains on the floor and all the other infective shit over there. Yep. I'm just going to sit her and kind of like gently prop her sobbing ass against Sam, who's happy there. And maybe his happiness can rub off on her. It's a chance, right? Maybe. You know what? I'm not even going to touch that one. <laughs> so, so Wait, now she's just, just sitting there, sobbing, topless. with her, like, Please. now unbound, broad breast, just, like, thumping against his horribly abrasive spacesuit as he's happily humming a game tune. <laughs> yeah, can you see how you made the situation go from... You know, we my character just gonna, doesn't just gonna do it. He's just like this, this. This is it's better this way. We saved her. It's by the it's way, not... by the way, guys. Like like this situation is actually worse than you believe, because like you say, you switched over to a private channel when you were discussing this. Mm -hmm. Neither of you closed your helmets. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone could be. In. <laughs> well, she's in the other room. She didn't hear us, right? The door was open, she heard you, she was just crying to herself while you planned oh, to shit. Back. <laughs> oh shit! All right, oh, so shit. I mean... oh shit! Oh shit! Oh right. shit! You know what? I'm just gonna... Holy shit. This is... We're so... It's... It's so bad. I don't see how this is gonna make it worse. I'm just gonna shoot her. I'm just gonna fix this oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put her out of her misery. I wanna do a grapple check. Ours. I wanna grab a grapple check. I wanna try to stop him. I'm gonna grab him. You know, this is this, this is me. I'm not saying this. I just walk up, pull out my gun, and just pop in the face. You have to walk past Toad to do it. You, you as you walk past Toad, pulling out your gun. Um, to Toad make a grapple check, okay. and uh, Savrit make a grapple check. So I've got a nine, and what would my grapple okay. be? Plus eleven. Plus eleven, nice. <laughs> you get no. So, so um, Savrit I get comes. Ten. <clears throat> Savrit comes uh, marching across the room, and his hand dips into his holster. Uh, Blaster Toad looks up and and basically just rugby tackles him to the floor as he goes past. Um, and 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 all the while, Samuel's just sitting in the corner, whistling the theme tune, and the crazy woman is just lying in the corner, uh, with her bra exposed, crying to herself. Um, <laughs> just, 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 just like bear in mind, like this entire scene in the med bay, nothing to do with me at all. Like, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I know, I, I planned, I planned for you guys to go to, to go back to the med bay, <coughs> give her food. Maybe do some diplomacy, maybe do some research on the stuff that you picked up, and then go. <laughs> this is entirely you guys. <laughs> and my fucking yeah. god. <laughs> yeah. We just wanted just... you to enjoy the show, I guess. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm, I'm acting the way that seems logical. I'm. So am I. I just I'm... saved a woman. Fuck you. <laughs> You saved a so while man. while I'm while I'm on the ground on top of Savarok, mm. uh, did I kind of like hit him around the waist or did I like hit him at the torso? You basically just like body slammed him to the floor, and now you're both kind of like lying in in kind of a, a weird missionary esque position. <laughs> okay, so okay. Si since I'm like looking him in the face with our open our open helmets, I just stare him dead eyed staring into his little creepy ass sneaky eyes that like to cut off hands <laughs> staring <laughs> fuck you so, <laughs> fuck you so so don't get off staring into the eyes of the psychopath <laughs> like it's great that it's now it's now reached the point where the dog killer is no longer the psychopath of the group <laughs> and like, i you, you I'm gonna headbutt him. <laughs> I'm gonna headbutt him. Th th there's a clank as your two helmets collide together. Um... I'm gonna punch him in his stupid helmet. <laughs> <laughs> so we're having this out right here on the floor as we're laying on top of each other. We're doing this. What do I gotta roll? <laughs> Samuel stands up. Um, 
and, and, and walks over to you and he, he kind of leans down above the two of you and he, he just like knocks on your helmets like they're a door and just like... <laughs> okay. Okay. This is happening. Okay. 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 Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I hear Responses. you loud and clear saying, "Holy shit!" Uh, I, yeah. I, I just Let's... slowly, like, while yeah. staying in my <clears throat> position, ready to cock this guy in the face with my fist, I, I turn my head to look up at Samuel. Samuel leans down quite quite close to you guys, like almost to the point where all three of your helmets are tucking. Uh, and he just like looks you all, looks at both of you, and he just goes, Shh, I'm on level 23. <laughs> <laughs> my nose! My nose! My nose! Oh! Oh! Okay. I just get rubbed through my nose! It burns! <laughs> <laughs> what did he just do? <laughs> just sneaked out of his nose. I sneezed the rum through my nose. Oh man, every time I breathe, it burns. Oh. I'm on level 22. Shh. Holy crap. <laughs> just break all the tension. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm, I'm just gonna go limp. I, I, I go limp. <laughs> okay. So, so Savrick's kind of the fight has gone. I'm just like of whatever. Just like yeah, that's enough of this. <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit! <laughs> okay. So, oh. having um, decided to cancel your plan of uh, sacrificing the woman to the the amorphous intelligence blob, um, <laughs> <laughs> for for some peculiar inane reason of, of, of research um, <laughs> and then had a fist fight on the floor which Samuel broke up by telling you to be quiet because he'd almost um, gotten past level 23 um, <laughs> fucking hell <laughs> I love how you describe this a DM and you're still like this shit just happened <laughs> oh. so you're both lying on the ground. Uh, 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 I can't wait to you're... tell Rochi about this. He's going to lose his both... shit, aren't he? Isn't he? Oh. Yeah. Um, and you've both kind of like reached the point where where you've gotten past the mental <clears throat> break of it. You, 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 you had the situation where you decided to do something horrible. You then aborted it. Um, one of you snapped and, and didn't know what to do. The other one snapped and decided to do something horrible. You had a fist fight over it. And, and now you've reached the point now where like you, your brains are, uh, are slowly kind of coming around to the situation of kind of like, it, it's probably best if, if we both just kind of forget that the last 20 minutes happened. Okay. So I slowly <laughs> yeah. roll off of Savarok here, laying just yep. sprawled arms open beside him. I turn my head to look at him. We're going for the buggies. Yeah, you know, okay. we're going Good for call. the buggies. Damn. <laughs> you Good wanted call. to see us sacrifice the woman? I mean, no, no, no. There, there was something else I wanted to expose you to, but I, I'm kind of scared that if you did get exposed to it, you might actually like just like throw in the campaign and just go like, nope, done, fuck it. <laughs> Wait, what? Through the airlock? No, you went uh, for the buggies. That's fine. <clears throat> You've decided. <laughs> but this sounds interesting now. I want to become more mentally scarred. Reach the point of no return. <laughs> There's plenty of mental scarring for, via the buggies. <sighs> Alright. Do we have to go the long way since this is still... But no, these airlocks are closed. These are uh, locks nope. are uh, the, the one from the... Right, uh, medkit. ...hydroponics is yeah, blocked we, so right. we still have to go the long way around. Alright, well yeah. then. Yeah. Alright, 